Hey everybody, welcome back to Reviews and Random. Today, I'm very excited about this review. This is for a ProSenic uh, vacuum cleaner, robotic vacuum cleaner, and it also mops as well. Um, you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll put the link down there. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid if you buy it, but I'm excited about this product. If I like it, I'll post this video. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. You won't ever see it. Um, so anyway, inside the box, you have the user manual. You have the robot obviously i'll show you how to get this thing all set up and going too um we have the dust tank so this is actually the mop tank so this this um to fill the mop tank you fill it up here so you put water in there and then it actually will will vacuum and put it in the dust into there so it can vacuum and mop at the same time which i think is awesome as long as we're here let's go ahead and go through how to to empty the dust out of there all you do is flip that open and there's your dust you can just dump it out you can you, it also has a filter in there so you can change the filters as well all right also in the box is the charging station the plug for that is going to be right underneath here this is the plug Make sure that when you're setting up your, your charging station, you do not um, get the plug in the way so that it gets run over by the vacuum because that'll mess things up. But you plug that in there, you run the cable around this way and you can set up your, your charging station. It will automatically go back to the charging uh, station when it runs out of battery, which I think is awesome. We also have a second cleaning mopping pad. This is uh, just a magnet strip. So basically all this does, this can set boundaries for your robot. So when it hits the magnet, it will know not to, to enter that room or proceed past that. We have the remote control with some batteries, which I'll change those out after so you don't have to watch that. And then it also comes with an extra filter as well. So this is the robot itself. Let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna notice is that it has these tabs. So these tabs have to be removed before you start. I'm gonna take off this sticker here that says, before you turn it on, you have to flip this. This is the power switch. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, on the back side here, this is the dust bin. So to change to empty the dust bin, you're gonna pull that out like that. You can see that it has the filter. So this is how you change the filter. You just slide that out and put it back in, just like that. And then um, this is the actual dustbin itself. Um, okay, so then after that, what we're going to do is flip this guy over and we're going to attach the edge, bringing, edge cleaning brushes. So it comes with those. All, they're just squares. So you can see it's square there. It goes right there. And you just push that down. Once you line it up, push it down to lock it in place. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Push it down. Am I even on camera anymore? I am a little bit. All right, cool. Line it up so that it's the square is in place and push it down. So now we're good to go there. While I have this thing upside down, let's run through a couple of the maintenance tips for cleaning. One of them is that you're going to actually remove this brush to clean as you need to. So that there's two little pins right there. You pull that off, slide the whole thing where it has the arrow and the whole, this comes out so you can clean that. It also has this kind of a square right there. You're going to line that up, spin it to make sure it sets in place and then set that back down in there. Then you're just going to pop this back just like so. You also will clean this as well. Um, all right. So that's it. That's, just, that's all the setup there is. That's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and um, it does have an app. I'm going to run you through how to install that app um, and get it linked up with your, with your robot here. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple things on the remote. Mostly we just want to go through how to program the remote for scheduled cleaning because I don't want this thing running all day long. Uh, it's, in, it's noisy and it's in the way, so I don't want it. Uh, but what I do want is every night for it to come out and clean up my messes after me. So we'll show you how to do that and I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's start with the app. The, it does come with a QR code inside the box that leads you to, if you're Android, an APK that you can download. I didn't want to do that initially. Um, I'm going to try this other way because I know that a lot of you aren't comfortable downloading APKs onto your phone. Um, so this is found through the Google, the Google um, Play Store. See if we can try to focus it. It always has a hard time on screens. 
Um, so this is just the Proson ProSonic Home app. I'm gonna hit that and hit open. While that's loading, I'm going to turn this on by flipping this switch to on. I'm gonna set it down here. You have to give this, this app some permission, so I'm gonna allow. You can go through and decide that. Um, you do have to create an account. I already did that on my other phone. I haven't actually linked this, so we'll figure it out together, but I did create an account, so let me log in and I'll be right back with you. All right, so once you're logged in, you're gonna hit add device. Right here, maybe if my big fat button I'll hit the pause. I, I hit over there. I don't know why it didn't work on the add your device. This is the 850T, so I'm going to click that. If you're not sure what you, what one you, what model you have, you look underneath here. It says 850T, so that's where it's at. And then, are you going to connect with the 2.4G, or do you have a router that does 2.4 and 5G? I've got both of those. You're going to hit AP mode. Then you're going to make sure that this is turned on underneath. So I'm going to flip this red switch to on, just like that. You hear the beep. Um, and then you're going to confirm by clicking that and do the next step. So the next thing you're going to do is hold this button down for five seconds. You hear a beep and you start to see this, that flash. So now we're in Wi-Fi. So then you're going to do, make sure the Wi-Fi indicator is flashing. So now I'm going to hit next step. Now you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi. You're going to choose your Wi-Fi and the password. So I'm going to type that in. Once you do that, um, so I already, I already entered my, this is for your router. Then you're going to go back to this app and now you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings and you're going to connect to ProSenic. So this is, I'm going to hit yes. So now it's connected to, to the ProSenic app. So now I'm going to go back to here, hit go and connect. It's connected to the, to the ProSenic. And I'm going to hit the back button. See if we can get back to the ProSenic. And then once you go back to the, the ProSenic app, it's going to start to search for the device because it's already connected. And it's going to link it with your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to just let this thing kind of hang out until it gets uh, registered. And then I'll be right back with you. So that only took about 10 seconds and now it says completed. So I'm going to hit complete. And now we have connected to our robot. So there we go. So now you can actually choose all of your settings right from the app is pretty cool. So let's just try this and hit auto clean. And there it goes. Let's see. Hold on. Ah, nice. So you can see I'm on a table. Let's see if what it does when it gets to the edge. Very nice. So the edge, the uh, fall protection works good if you have stairs. I'm going to hit this button again, and we're going to we're going to pause it. You can actually control your mop, your spot. So spot cleaning is if you want to uh, just clean one room. You can put this in a room, close the door, it'll clean for a half hour, and then be done. Edge cleaning, you can you can adjust how you want to um, handle the edge cleaning. Normally, it will clean everything, and then towards the end, it will run around the edges. But you can adjust that. So that seems pretty cool. Um, I think that's it for this. Let's go to settings and just see what we have here. So if you go to the settings now, this is where you can enter your schedule. So you can you can run through those. I'm not going to run through the, that exact, you know, all everything on that because it's pretty self-explanatory as long as you know that you go into your settings to schedule the settings. You can update your form, firmware through there. I imagine this is how you sync it to Alexa. I'll have to figure that out and show you guys later. So now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, let's go ahead and run through some of the features of the remote in case you don't want to use an app to accomplish what I just did. All right, so here's the remote. The first thing I'm going to do is take this plastic piece off, maybe. There you go. So if it looks like your screen's messed up, you probably haven't taken the plastic piece off. So the first thing that you're going to do then is you're going to hit this button here. This is, if we can focus on it, this is the um, clock button. So now you're going to adjust the clock. So it's 1138. So you need to make sure that this is set correctly. It's not 11.38 p.m., so I have to go through this way. Otherwise, your schedules will be off, right? All right, so 11.38 a.m., good. So now our, now our clock is set. 
So, so this button here selects the modes. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, this is if you want to just control it manually. That's pretty fun. Like a like a remote control car. <laughs> Turn that off. Um, all right. So I think what what you really want to know is how to set the um, cleaning schedule on that. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit this one, which is where is the cleaning schedule button? It looks like. It's this one. So this is the cleaning schedule button here in the corner. Now it's going to start to blink and you're going to set the time. So let's, it's 1139 now. So let's do 11. Oh, so let you do it in 45 minute increments. So we're going to set it for 1145. Um, and so you adjust all of that and then you're going to hit this center button to confirm it. You hear the beep. So now you have the schedule is right there saying that you do have the schedule already programmed in. If you want to cancel um, the schedule, all you're gonna do is hold this down. You see that went away, you heard a beep, and now we don't have the schedule anymore. So it's really, really easy to control the schedule. Um, all of these buttons are in your, in your user manual, um, but it's fairly self-explanatory. This one I really like, this adjusts how much water comes out with the sweeping and the mopping. Or sorry, with the mopping, you can adjust the water flow on it. That's it, guys, that's the setup of it. It looked pretty complicated when I opened it up and there was like, 50 things in there. I'm like, oh crap, this is going to take a while. Um, but you can see it's very, very easy. That was my first time ever setting it up. I had to figure a couple things out as we went along. Hopefully that will help you. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is run this through some tests downstairs um, in the area that it's actually going to be cleaning. We're going to test to see how it does picking up things that my kids uh, leave behind, Cheerios and crushed up crackers and all of that. Um, and then we will run a, a couple more tests before we make a final decision. So far, I'm really pleased with how easy it was to set up. The quality feels nice. I like how convenient it is to actually maintain these. Um, Cause just like any other vacuum cleaner, you're gonna have to maintain, you're gonna have to pull that the brush off at some point um, and, and clean them. You need to empty the dustbin and all of that stuff. So very, very simple to use. Uh, the app was fairly self-explanatory. Uh, just uh, one little snafu there of just trying to have to hit the back button to get back to the ProSonic app after you link to the ProSonic Wi-Fi. Um, other than that, super easy. Let's go ahead and get this downstairs and run it through some tests. All right, so I figured before I actually um, take you down and, and run through some of the testing on the, the vacuum itself, I've been charging it all afternoon, but I figured I'd, I'd run you through how to connect it to um, Alexa. You can't just go to add a device and connect it that way. I tried that, it didn't work. Um, so what we're gonna do is go to skills and games. We're gonna search and we're gonna search for ProSonic ProSonic Home, that's the app that I that I downloaded. I believe that if you download from the card, the, the QR code in the card, um, it actually is ProSonic Robotic. Um, but since I downloaded the, I didn't download the APK from the card, I actually downloaded from the App Store. I'm gonna do ProSonic Home or ProScenic. I don't know if that's how you say it. Anyway, I'm gonna hit Enable Skill. It's gonna ask me to log in. So I'm gonna do that real fast here, off camera, of course. I'm going to hit America for the area, and then I'm going to choose log in. So now we've, we've successfully linked that. So now we're going to close. So now we're going to hit discover devices. My, my vacuum's actually downstairs, uh, but this is the quietest place with kids. So I'm going to, so I'm up here doing it. It should still link because it's all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to let this thing search for a minute and then I will be right back with you. All right, so then it says one other found and connected. I, I will note that I still am on my same Wi-Fi network. I don't know if that matters, but if you're having issues setting this up, then double check your Wi-Fi network. So now I'm gonna hit set up um, device. So this is this is the, the um, yeah, that to control it, you have to say Alexa, turn on and turn, turn off the 850T. I'm gonna to try to control, I'm gonna to try to figure out if I can change that. However, now we're connected to Alexa, so we're gonna go home and try that out. All right, so I'm gonna give this a shot to see if we can change the uh, commands for it here. So I'm gonna click on that, that device because that's what's connected. I'm gonna hit edit name, and I'm going to, to change the name to, 
I don't know, vacuum maybe, V-A-C-U-U-M, C-C-U-U-M, I don't remember how to spell that, V-A-C-U-U-M, that's a, that's how you spell it, V-A-C, I think so, anyway, that's what it's, <laughs> that's what it's going to be, <laughs> all right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, try to use this downstairs. All right, so we are downstairs, I'm going to grab the remote, I have some stuff to throw in front of it, we got some crunch berries and some crackers and I also set up some sugar here um, I did check it try it with the Alexa the Alexa function really basically all it does is turn it on and turn it off I don't know if the other app has more functionality I'll try it out and if I if it does I'll, I'll post a YouTube video for that as well um, but for now basically all you can do is this Alexa turn on my vacuum That's pretty much it. You can turn it off, but it stays exactly where it's at. Um, so we're going to get this fired up. Let's see if I can get it to run over the sugar. Of course, it's not gonna. Because it's running in a straight line here. Maybe it'll come through. Oops. Let's see. I'm going to move this just so that it gets the sugar. It looks like it's only going to get the side of it. You can see exactly where it hit. There it goes, get it. Awesome. I mean, it blasts, blasts over that and got all the sugar out, so that's pretty awesome as well. I would like to see it go onto the carpet. You can see I've been playing around with it. You can see the lines. So it will actually kick on to a higher setting when the um, vacuum senses that it is on carpet. I'm confusing its programming right now by moving my tables around. So you can see the pattern that it takes. I really like the pattern that it takes. It's, it's very strategic about going back and forth to map out your floor rather than just going all in a haphazard zigzag pattern. If you saw it slow down right there, that's because in the past my table was there and it was trying to learn where my table was. All right. Last thing I want to do is, is show you. Oh, oops, I almost forgot. Let's throw some more stuff in front of this thing as soon as it gets out from under my table. It does do a great job cleaning around the table legs as well. I need to get it over here in the light so that I can toss some stuff in front of it. All right, here we go. So we're gonna make, we're gonna feed it. I just fed it a piece of cereal, which anybody who has kids has that laying around. And it did an awesome job with that. Let's break a little bit of a cracker. Go buy a cracker. It's pretty awesome, actually. All right. I'm going to do one more thing here. It's still learning. I'm going to put this thing here. I'm going to break it up a little bit. Kind of squish it down into the carpet like it does, like it would be with kids. And I'm going to send this vacuum onto the carpet to see what it does as far as cleaning it up. So I'm going to pause it. Hopefully. I hit the wrong button there. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to line this thing up with that, and I'll be right back with you. Guys, I blew it. I, I thought I was recording. I, I got this nice pretty line got all the crackers up and I wasn't recording. Um, so I'm going to try this again. I have it lined up. Hit the auto button. We're going to let it kick on here. Nice and easy over the transition. Listen for the suction to increase. Let's see if it does that. Don't miss my crackers. So I put more crackers just to be thorough. I'm going to stick them in the ground there. Looks like it missed just a little bit of it. I haven't heard the vacuum kick back on um, as far as increasing the suction. There we go. So it looks like it did miss one little one little piece, um, and I think that was more a function of I didn't give this thing a chance to actually recognize that it was switching onto carpet. It has to run on the tile before it goes onto the carpet. I'm gonna send it home now. Um, so if it's running on hardwood and then switches to, to carpet, it recognizes the difference and bumps up the, the suction. I didn't give it a chance to run on the tile long enough for it to recognize. So, but even on low suction, you can see all it did was miss that one little piece. 
That's pretty darn awesome, guys. I am super happy with this vacuum. It sweeps, it mops. Um, it's super easy to use. Very, very high quality. I have no doubt that this is going to last for a long time. I think my one complaint with it is that the only way to set the boundaries is the magnetic strip. And I don't want a magnetic strip this running this length, especially with kids. They're going to pull it out. Um, so I think that's my only complaint. So I'm just going to end up letting it do its thing and vacuum the, the carpet as well. Um, you can see it docks just fine and is charging. To empty the dirt out, I don't know if I can show you guys one-handed, but you just pull this way. And you can see that's all the dirt that it's picked up. Actually, that is a surprising amount of lint that it's picked up uh, in the short time that I've run it. Nice. So it's a very nice vacuum. Um, and I think you guys are going to be happy with it. So I'm going to give this thing, can't do that with one hand either. I'm going to give this thing a solid five stars. And I think that you will too.